Every year, my family decorates our living room with a nativity scene to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We do this so that we never forget why we celebrate Christmas. So today I'm going to be showing you how I created these nativity themed nails. I'm going to start off with a base coat as always to protect my nails from staining as well as prolong the nail art design. Then I'm going to take a dark blue color and paint all of my nails solid dark blue. <laughs> this is going to be the night sky. Once the base color is applied, I'm going to take some liquid latex and just cover up the skin around my nail so that when I do the sponge gradient, it's easier to clean up. Once it dries, I'm going to grab a makeup sponge and I'm going to paint a triangular shaped gradient with the dark blue color that I used for the base and then a light blue color to create the light beam coming from the Star of Bethlehem. I just want to make sure that the point of the triangle is aimed in the direction of my cuticle because that's where I'm going to paint the star. I'm going to use the same technique to paint my ring and index finger, um, but I'm only going to paint half of a triangle for each nail on a different sponge because I just find that this creates less of a mess. It also just makes it easier for me to remember which direction the light needs to go on each nail. By using two different sponges, I can paint the other half of the triangle mirroring the first one. This just helps me not get confused about the direction. As I mentioned before, I just find this was helpful. Once the gradient is complete, I'm going to remove the latex. And I'm going to take a little bit of acetone to clean up the areas that still got a little messy. Then before I start painting the actual design, I'm going to top the gradient with quick dry nail polish to protect it in case I make any mistakes. Here I'm taking some clear glitter polish and painting the darker areas of the nail to create stars. And I'm going to switch direction here just so you can see the design being painted a little bit better. To form the Star of Bethlehem, I'm just painting a little white cross. And this is going to be the framework for the star. And then from there, I'm just going to shape the inner corners and extend the lines out in each direction. As you can see, I added a little bit too much polish in the inner corners of the star but I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of acetone and reshape that up. Having the quick dry top coat underneath um, protects the gradient from being messed up in this process, almost like an eraser. Now that the Star of Bethlehem is complete, I'm going to add some little white dots, which will be just some other stars in the distance. And now that the sky is complete, I can begin the nativity scene. I'm starting by painting the tips of my nails black, and this is going to be the ground and the foundation for our stable. To paint the stable, I'm going to paint two vertical lines. I painted them a little crooked. I'm just going to go back over them to try and fix it. And then I'm going to paint a roof. This is a very basic elementary house shape. Now that I have my stable, I'm going to paint the manger. I'm 
I'm going to paint two little figures just hovering over the manger. On the side of my index finger, I'm painting a palm tree. It's really difficult to see because the colors are so dark, but I'm just painting a trunk and then the leaves of the palm tree. Underneath the palm tree, I'm going to paint three small figures, and these are just going to be visitors. These could be the shepherds, the kings that came to visit, angels. Jesus had quite a few visitors come to worship and celebrate his birth. And on my ring finger, I'm just painting a little camel. I think it adds a really nice touch to the picture. Once the silhouette is complete, I'm going to seal the design with a quick drying top coat. And this is the completed look. This year has been really challenging, but I sincerely hope and pray that you have a blessed and Merry Christmas.